The clock's ticking echoed through the quiet living room as Emma sat alone, surrounded by the unsettling stillness of her once happy home. The scent of Henry's cologne lingered in the air, a cruel reminder of the life they had built together. With a trembling hand, she opened an email that would unravel the foundations of her world. Emma's eyes widened in disbelief as she read Henry's words on the glowing screen. The betrayal struck her like a physical blow, leaving her breathless. Emma, I've found someone else, the message began, cold and heartless. I'm leaving. Take care of the debts. The silence that followed was deafening, broken only by the distant sounds of a neighborhood unaware of the personal hurricane raging within Emma's heart. How could he? She whispered to herself, the words carrying a weight she couldn't comprehend. Later that evening, she found solace in a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Oliver. Mom, why is Dad acting so weird lately? And what's this about debts? Oliver's innocent eyes held a flicker of concern, unknowingly signaling the storm that loomed on the horizon. He's made some bad choices, sweetheart, Emma replied, her voice strained. We're going to face some tough times, but we'll get through it together. Little did Oliver know that the storm was far from over. Emma spent a sleepless night grappling with the reality of her husband's betrayal. The sun began to rise, casting a harsh light on the shattered remnants of her marriage. As she sipped on a cup of lukewarm coffee, her phone buzzed with a text message from Henry. Emma, I've packed my things. You'll find the divorce papers on the kitchen counter. Take care of the debts. It's for the best. Emma's hands trembled as she read the message aloud to herself. The world outside seemed to blur, as if reality itself couldn't quite comprehend the depths of her despair. How could he do this, she mumbled, the disbelief turning into anger. Over breakfast, Oliver could sense his mother's distress. Mom, what's wrong? Where's dad? He asked, a hint of worry in his voice. Emma hesitated before mustering a weak smile. Dad has some things to figure out, sweetie. It's just you and me for now. Little did Oliver know that their lives were about to change forever, and the echoes of Henry's betrayal would shape the chapters of their future. The morning sun painted a harsh reality as Emma navigated the labyrinth of financial documents spread across the kitchen table. The weight of the $25, 000 debt loomed over her like a dark cloud, threatening to consume the life she had carefully built with Henry. The air in the room felt heavy, carrying the scent of unresolved anguish. Emma's weary eyes traced the numbers on the loan statements. How did we end up here? She whispered to herself, her voice carrying the burden of disbelief. The luxury car, a symbol of their aspirations, now stood as a haunting reminder of the choices that had led to this moment. Later that day, Oliver, sensing the tension, cautiously approached his mother. Mom, why are you so upset? Where's dad? Is he coming back? His innocent questions mirrored the confusion in his eyes. Emma sighed, her eyes welling up with tears. Dad made some choices, Oliver. Choices that affect us, and he's not coming back, she replied, trying to shield him from the harsh reality. Little did Oliver grasp the depth of the situation, as he innocently hugged his mother, seeking comfort in her arms. With a heavy heart, Emma contacted the bank to discuss the looming debt. The voice on the other end of the line echoed a robotic indifference, adding to her sense of isolation. Ma'am, the loan is under your name. You're responsible for the repayment, the dispassionate voice stated, emphasizing the stark individuality of her struggle. As the days unfolded, Emma faced the harsh truth that Henry had left her with not only emotional wounds but also a financial burden that threatened to suffocate her. The house echoed with the silence of unanswered questions, and the luxury car in the driveway seemed more like a cursed possession than a symbol of success. One evening, as Oliver finished his homework, he approached Emma with an innocent inquiry. Mom, can we buy ice cream tomorrow? He asked, 
unaware of the financial strain that gripped their lives. Emma hesitated, struggling to find the words. Sweetheart, we need to be careful with our spending for a while. We're going through a tough time, she explained gently, trying to shield him from the harsh reality. Oliver's eyes widened with understanding. Is it because dad left? He asked, his voice a mixture of curiosity and concern. Emma nodded, fighting back tears. Yes, Oliver. But we'll get through this together, okay? Little did she know that these words would become their mantra, a reminder that in the face of despair, they still had each other. As days turned into weeks, Oliver's sharp mind couldn't shake the unease that hung in the air. His curiosity led him to dig into the unsettling silence surrounding his father's sudden departure. Late one night, fueled by a mix of confusion and determination, he overheard hushed conversations and decided to investigate. Sitting cross-legged on his bedroom floor, Oliver typed away on his laptop, his small fingers dancing over the keys with an unexpected expertise. His eyes widened as he uncovered a series of incriminating emails and messages. The truth, like a dormant serpent, coiled within the digital realm, waiting to be discovered. Mom, Oliver called out, his voice a blend of excitement and urgency. You need to see this. Emma, already emotionally drained, entered his room, her eyes reflecting a mixture of concern and curiosity. What is it, Oliver? He pointed to the screen, revealing the trail of deceit left by Henry. Dad's been hiding things from us, Mom. I think he's with someone else. Emma's eyes scanned the screen, the weight of betrayal sinking deeper. How did you find this? I just connected the dots, Oliver replied, a determined glint in his eyes. We need to know where Dad is, Mom. We can't let him get away with this. The reality of her ten-year-old son taking charge hit Emma like a sudden gust of wind. She blinked away tears, pride and sorrow mingling in her heart. You're so smart, Oliver. We'll find him, but we have to be careful. The following day, Oliver approached Emma with a plan. Mom, we can track Dad using our phones. I found this GPS app it'll show us where he is in real time. Emma hesitated, torn between the desire for answers and the fear of what they might discover. Are you sure about this, Oliver? He nodded, his gaze unwavering. We deserve to know the truth. Dad owes us that much. Together, they set up the tracking app, their screens displaying a digital map with a blinking dot indicating Henry's whereabouts. The revelation of his location was both a relief and a fresh wound as the reality of his betrayal became an undeniable presence in their lives. As the duo embarked on their quest for answers, Oliver turned to Emma. We have to be prepared, Mom. Whatever we find, we face it together. Little did they know that Oliver's revelation would not only uncover Henry's physical location but also ignite a journey toward justice and closure. Armed with the GPS app, Emma and Oliver embarked on a clandestine mission to track down Henry. Their shared goal was to confront him and unveil the truth behind his betrayal. The digital map on Oliver's phone displayed a pulsating dip, revealing Henry's whereabouts in real time. Driving through unfamiliar streets, the atmosphere inside the car was thick with tension. Oliver's fingers tapped nervously on his phone, the map serving as both a guide and a stark reminder of their pursuit. Emma glanced at her determined son, marveling at the resilience that had emerged in the face of adversity. Are you sure about this, Oliver? Emma's voice trembled with a mix of anxiety and anticipation. He nodded, his gaze focused on the road ahead. We deserve answers, Mom. Dad owes us that much. After what felt like an eternity, the dot on the screen indicated that they were closing in on their destination. The car pulled over, hidden from plain sight, as mother and son prepared themselves for the confrontation that awaited. Remember, Mom, we're doing this together, Oliver said, his voice steadied despite the underlying tension. Emma mustered a weak smile. 
I couldn't ask for a better partner in this, Oliver. The night air was cool as they approached the location. The distant murmur of voices heightened their senses, adding an eerie quality to the situation. The GPS led them to a dimly lit parking lot where Henry's car was parked alongside another. As they approached, the tension became palpable. Oliver, fueled by a mix of anger and determination, took the lead. There he is, Mom. They stood in silence, observing the scene unfold before them. Henry emerged from a nearby cafe, a look of surprise on his face as he spotted Emma and Oliver. The moment of truth had arrived. Emma's voice wavered with a mix of emotions. Henry, we need to talk. He glanced nervously between them, attempting to feign composure. What are you doing here? Oliver stepped forward, his gaze piercing through his father's defenses. We know about everything, Dad. The affair, the debts. You can't run away from this. Henry's face paled as the weight of his actions bore down on him. I, I didn't expect you to find me. Emma's eyes bore into his, a mix of pain and anger etched across her face. You can't just walk away, Henry. We deserve an explanation. The confrontation unfolded in the dimly lit parking lot, emotions reaching a boiling point. The trio, bound by blood and betrayal, stood on the precipice of a revelation that would redefine their relationships forever. Little did they know that this confrontation marked the beginning of a journey toward healing and closure. In the dimly lit parking lot, a charged silence hung heavy between Emma, Oliver, and Henry. The revelation of Henry's affair and the financial deceit had brought them to this pivotal moment, where truths were destined to be unveiled. Emma's voice, though firm, carried the weight of betrayal. Henry, you can't just disappear and leave us with this mess. We deserve an explanation. Henry, caught off guard by their unexpected appearance, fumbled for words. Emma, it's not what you think. I can explain. Oliver, however, wasn't swayed by his father's attempts at justification. We know about everything, Dad. You can't lie your way out of this. Emma, fueled by a mix of anger and hurt, pressed on. You took the car, you left us with debts, and you abandoned your own son. What kind of explanation could justify that? Henry's eyes darted between Emma and Oliver, guilt etched across his face. I didn't plan for it to happen like this. I just needed a change, a fresh start. Oliver's young but determined voice cut through the tension. A fresh start that involves leaving your family drowning in debt. How could you, Dad? The confrontation escalated as Henry attempted to defend his actions, his justifications falling on deaf ears. Emma, however, needed closure. We need to involve the police. You can't just walk away from the mess you've created. Henry's face paled at the prospect of legal consequences. Emma, please. Let's talk about this. I don't want to involve the police. Oliver, standing by his mother's side, spoke with a resolve beyond his years. You should have thought about that before betraying us, Dad. Emma, despite the emotional turmoil, maintained a stern composure. We've given you chances, Henry. Now it's time to face the consequences of your actions. As the confrontation unfolded, a small crowd had gathered, drawn by the escalating voices. A police car patrolling nearby noticed the commotion and approached the scene. The police officer, a stern expression on his face, intervened. Is there a problem here? Emma, empowered by the presence of law enforcement, explained their situation. Officer, this man left us with debts, took our car, and abandoned his own son. We need your help. The officer, after gathering the details, turned to Henry. You're in serious trouble, sir. You'll need to come to the station and provide an explanation for your actions. Henry, realizing the severity of the situation, had no choice but to comply. 
The confrontation had transitioned into a turning point, a moment where justice would begin to unfold. As the police car drove away with Henry in the back seat, Emma and Oliver stood in the quiet aftermath of the confrontation. The wounds were still fresh, but a glimmer of resolution sparkled in their eyes. Little did they know that the path to justice had just begun, and the chapters ahead would be a testament to their strength in the face of betrayal. In the wake of Henry's confrontation, the repercussions extended beyond his immediate family. Olivia, his mistress, found herself facing the consequences of her involvement in his deceitful actions. The disapproval of her own parents intensified the storm she had willingly walked into. Emma, seeking closure, decided to confront Olivia, who had played a significant role in the dissolution of her marriage. The confrontation took place in Olivia's apartment, a tense atmosphere enveloping the room. Olivia, startled by Emma's unexpected presence, stammered, what are you doing here? Emma's eyes bore into Olivia's, a mix of pain and anger etched across her face. You played a part in destroying my family. I want to hear your side of the story. Olivia, shifting uncomfortably, attempted to deflect blame. Henry and I fell in love. It's not my fault he left you. Emma's voice, sharp with accusation, cut through the room. You knew he was married, and you willingly participated in deceiving his family. You can't escape responsibility. As the conversation unfolded, Emma learned about Olivia's own familial reckoning. Her parents, apprised of Olivia's role in Henry's actions, had disowned her. Emma's empathy clashed with the lingering anger, realizing that Olivia, too, was grappling with the fallout. Olivia, her eyes welling with tears, muttered, I didn't expect my family to abandon me. I thought Henry and I could build a life together. Emma, despite her anger, couldn't ignore the human cost of the situation. Your choices have consequences, Olivia. You need to face them. The encounter between the two women became a pivotal moment, marking Olivia's acknowledgement of the collateral damage caused by her choices. The emotional reckoning extended beyond Emma's desire for justice it became a shared realization of the far-reaching implications of betrayal. As Emma left Olivia's apartment, the weight of the situation lingered. The storm of emotions continued to churn, leaving both women to grapple with the aftermath of choices that had irreversibly altered the course of their lives. Little did they know that this reckoning was just one chapter in the unfolding drama, and the complexities of human relationships would continue to shape the narrative in unexpected ways. With Henry in police custody and Olivia facing the consequences of her choices, Emma found herself thrust into a new battleground, the legal system. The debts left behind by Henry required resolution, and the intricacies of the legal process added another layer of complexity to her already tumultuous life. Emma, armed with determination, sought legal counsel to navigate the complexities of divorce, debt resolution, and child custody. As the legal battles began, the courtroom became a symbolic arena where the aftermath of Henry's betrayal would be dissected. In the lawyer's office, Emma listened intently as her attorney outlined the strategy. We'll pursue a divorce settlement that ensures you're not solely burdened with the debts. Child custody will be a critical aspect, considering Henry's actions. Emma nodded, a mix of anxiety and resolve in her eyes. I just want what's best for Oliver. I won't let Henry's actions define our future. The legal proceedings unfolded with a mix of tense court appearances and negotiations. Henry, now realizing the severity of the consequences, attempted to present his case. Emma, can't we find a way to settle this without dragging it through the courts? For Oliver's sake. Emma, however, remained resolute. The court is where we'll find justice, Henry. I won't let your actions go unanswered. Oliver, caught in the crossfire, grappled with the changing dynamics of his family. Mom, do I have to testify in court? He asked, a hint of fear in his voice. Emma, kneeling beside him, reassured, 
We'll do our best to shield you from the worst of it, Oliver. But we need to stand up for what's right. As the legal battles intensified, Emma faced moments of doubt and exhaustion. In one poignant scene, she confided in a friend over coffee. I never thought my life would become a courtroom drama, she admitted. Her friend, offering support, replied, You're stronger than you realize, Emma. This is just a chapter, not the entire story. The courtroom became a theater of emotions, where truths were dissected and justice sought. Emma, despite the weariness, found strength in the pursuit of a fair resolution. As the legal battles continued, Emma's journey became a testament to resilience in the face of betrayal. Little did she know that the courtroom drama would be a pivotal chapter, setting the stage for the redefinition of her life and the lives of those entangled in the aftermath of Henry's actions. As legal battles unfolded, the financial strain on Emma intensified. The debts left in the wake of Henry's betrayal cast a long shadow, forcing Emma to confront the harsh realities of economic hardship. Emma, with a determined spirit, sought employment opportunities to alleviate the financial burden. The job hunt became a relentless pursuit, with rejection emails echoing the challenges she faced. In one poignant moment, she confided in a friend over a cup of coffee. Friend, Emma, I can't imagine how challenging this is for you. Have you considered seeking financial assistance? Emma, sipping her coffee, replied with a sigh. I want to stand on my own, but the debts are suffocating. I can't let it all collapse. Friend, it's okay to ask for help, Emma. You're not alone in this. Emma, later that evening, had a heart-to-heart -heart with Oliver about the financial struggles. Oliver, Mom, why don't we sell the house? It might help with the debts. Emma, running her fingers through Oliver's hair, explained with a heavy heart. Sweetheart, the house is our anchor. Selling it would mean uprooting our lives even more. Oliver, his eyes reflecting a mix of understanding and frustration, responded, but we can't keep drowning in debt, Mom. Emma, with a determined expression, uttered, we'll find a way, Oliver. I won't let these challenges define our future. The search for financial stability became a relentless pursuit. Emma juggled multiple jobs, faced sleepless nights, and navigated the maze of bills and overdue payments. The weight on her shoulders became palpable, but she refused to let it crush her spirit. In one emotional scene, as Emma struggled to make ends meet, Oliver offered a small envelope. Oliver, I saved some of my allowance, Mom. Maybe it'll help a little. Emma, holding back tears, hugged him tightly. You're a blessing, Oliver. We'll get through this together. The financial struggles became a shared battle, strengthening the bond between mother and son. As Emma faced setbacks and triumphs, she began to realize that resilience was not just about overcoming betrayal but also about navigating the intricate web of financial challenges. Little did she know that the lessons learned in this chapter would shape their future and illuminate the path toward a new beginning. Chapter 9, Redemption and Resilience In the aftermath of legal battles and financial struggles, Emma found herself at a crossroads. The journey through betrayal, heartache, and financial hardships had tested her resilience, but in this chapter, redemption became a beacon of hope. Emma, driven by a spirit unyielding, continued to rebuild her life. The courtroom drama had come to an end, and the legal battles resulted in a fair settlement. However, the scars of betrayal lingered, manifesting in the day-to-day -day challenges she faced. One evening, as Emma and Oliver sat in their modest living room, contemplating the path ahead, Oliver spoke up. Oliver, Mom, I know it's been tough. But you're so strong. We'll get through this, right? Emma, ruffling Oliver's hair with a smile, replied, Absolutely, sweetheart. We've weathered the storm, and now it's time for a new beginning. In a touching moment, Emma received unexpected support from a colleague. Colleague, Emma, I've seen how hard you've been working. You deserve a chance to thrive. 
I've recommended you for a promotion. Emma, eyes welling up with gratitude, expressed, thank you. It means more than you know. The redemption didn't only come from professional pursuits. Emma, with Oliver by her side, engaged in community activities, forming bonds with others who had faced adversity. In a heartwarming dialogue during a community event, friend, Emma, you've been an inspiration to us all. Your resilience is admirable. Emma, with a humble smile, replied, we all have our battles. It's how we face them that defines us. As Emma embraced redemption, she also witnessed a change in Oliver. The 10-year-old, once a silent witness to his parents' turmoil, emerged as a source of unwavering support and wisdom. Oliver, Mom, I want to help however I can. We're a team. Emma, overwhelmed with maternal pride, hugged him tightly. We are, Oliver. We are a team, and together, we're unstoppable. The redemption and resilience exhibited by Emma and Oliver became a testament to the indomitable human spirit. The chapter unfolded not just as a period of recovery but as a resurgence of strength and hope. Little did they know that the journey toward redemption was far from over. Chapter 10, A New Beginning The final chapter in Emma's tumultuous journey unfolded with the promise of a new beginning. The wounds of betrayal had scarred, but they no longer defined her. A newfound sense of strength and resilience marked the dawn of a chapter filled with hope and possibilities. As the legal battles concluded and financial stability gradually returned, Emma stood on the threshold of a fresh start. The small, modest home she had fought so hard to keep became a symbol of triumph over adversity. In a poignant moment, as Emma and Oliver prepared to move forward, they revisited memories of the past. Oliver, Mom, we've been through so much. But look at us now. We made it. Emma, holding back tears of pride, replied, We did, Oliver. And we're stronger for it. The community, which had witnessed Emma's journey, rallied around her during a farewell gathering. Friend, Emma, you've shown us the power of resilience. We'll miss you here, but we know you're destined for great things. Emma, humbled by the support, smiled, thank you. This community will always hold a special place in my heart. As Emma and Oliver embarked on a new chapter in a different town, their lives took unexpected turns. Emma, having secured a promotion at work, embraced fresh opportunities for personal and professional growth. In a dialogue with her new colleague, colleague, Emma, we're thrilled to have you on the team. Your reputation precedes you. Emma, with a determined glint in her eyes, responded, I'm ready for this new challenge. It's time to build something better. Teacher, Oliver, you've adapted so well. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Oliver, with a grateful smile, said, I learned from the best, my mom. In a quiet moment with Oliver, gazing at the sunset in their new town, Oliver, mom, it feels like we're starting a whole new story. Emma, with a twinkle in her eye, replied, that's exactly what we're doing, Oliver. Our story of redemption, resilience, and a new beginning. The echoes of betrayal had faded, replaced by the triumphant notes of a resilient melody. The journey had been arduous, but the destination was one of hope, growth, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow.